A 10-pin bowling alley seems an unlikely venue for the morning after the night before, but celebrating Chester City manager Graham Barrow relaxed with a charity game of bowling, reflecting on the triumphs of the promotion of yesterday. Well, maybe one or two people made money to, to go to the Football League altogether, to be honest. Um, and that was understandable, the, the way we plummeted last, last year. But um, it just shows, really, it, it is really... A, there's no secret to it, it's hard work and uh, ability and good players about you, really. A chest of victory yesterday and a defeat for crew at Rochdale would spell automatic promotion for Chester City. But they ignored elsewhere and got on with their own job, making sure that their side of the bargain was in place as early as the 18th minute. David Pugh on hand with a really firm header into the corner of the goal. On loan striker Graham Lancashire helped himself to the second with a spectacular volley. Just at a time when crew at Rochdale had just gone 2-1 down. The news are beginning to filter through to the Diva Stadium. There was a couple of anxious moments near the end after Howard Clark had put Hereford United back in the game at 2-1. But the two-goal cushion was restored after Hereford United manager Greg Downs failed to clear the danger. And Roger Priest made it 3-1, 20 minutes to go. After a few minutes of stoppage time, the whistle finally went with the news that Crewe had in fact been beaten at Rochdale and the promotion celebrations could begin. The fans called for just one man, Graham Barrow, the manager who turned them round within 12 months. They chanted for him and he responded by throwing them his sweatshirt. The shirt off his back was soon to follow, a proud man indeed. Yesterday's celebrations marked a remarkable achievement for a team who were 66 to 1 outsiders for promotion at the start of the season and for whom survival seemed a more attainable target than Division 2. It's been achieved using footballing principles. We worked hard on our passing game because of, because of our own playing surface, really. We knew we couldn't play the long ball game because the ball just runs on forever. And, uh, Whilst at first he didn't get the results that were required, we, we stuck with it. And I thought that was, uh, if I said himself, a brave decision, really, because it, um, we didn't get the results early on, and I knew then I was on thin ice myself. But it slowly came too. Well, it's been an interesting start to your management career, the lows of last year, the highs of this. Can you just sum it up what it's been like so far? When you're a manager, you, uh, the game's no sooner over than you think about the next one. And like I said, people are already hitting me about talking about next season. Um, so, but I've won things in football, but this this is definitely uh, the best the best feeling uh, to achieve something as a manager with a group of players and see um, your tactics and, and everything come come true to form. Uh, no, this, this is the best feeling. Well, it didn't look as though he got a strike, but very well done indeed to Graham.